Hi, this is a demo of the AnyConnect client uh, doing RAVPN to the Duo uh, Cloud Hostess single sign-on service. And that's the uh, SAML authentication is being used. So let me give you an example here. So this is a AnyConnect client connecting to the Firepower uh, Threat Defense appliance using AnyConnect in the SSL. So the client connects to, makes the initial request to Firepower Threat Defense. And then the threat defense or FTD uh, refer redirects the user over to the Duo uh, cloud, the Duo single sign-on service via SAML. And then, so in this case, I have con configured for Duo SSO service, and then Duo uh, acting as a proxy, a SAML and IDP proxy, uh, force that request over to either Okta or Active Azure Active Directory. In my example here, I'm using. Azure Active Directory, so it forwards it over to Azure. Azure checks the user against the database, and if OK, sends a request back to Duo Cloud saying, go ahead and authorize that user because the user is valid. And at that point, sends it back to the Firepower appliance, and then the user is granted access to the destination of the uh, original intent there. So that's the general overflow. And now let me show you the uh, configuration here. All right, let me start by showing you the actual client uh, experience. The user here, I'm gonna go have the user connect to my Firepower Threat Defense Appliance, and I'm connecting to a, a group URL uh, or destination tunnel, um, 1120ftd.cisco.com slash duo SSO. That's the URL that I configured. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, connect. And now I'm being redirected over to Azure because that is the uh, IDP that the Duo SSO service is pointing to. So I'm being authenticated by Azure. Let me go and sign in. And here I'm being prompted for a Duo uh, push because I configure Duo. Uh, Multi-factor authentication is as part of the authentication process, I'm going to go and send myself a push. And there's my pop-up asking me for approve or deny. I hit approve. And there you go. Now I've successfully landed in the Duo SSO tunnel. Welcome. And I hit accept, and now I am in the AnyConnect tunnel there. So that's how simple it is. Okay, so now let me show you um, the actual experience, uh, configuration side. Okay, this is the Firepower Management Center here. So let me show you the uh, configuration here. So first of all, um, I have to enroll or download this certificate from uh, the Duo single sign-on service to the ASA or to the FTD, Firepower Threat Defense Appliance, so it can trust it. So I went ahead, you go in here and configure a entry called Duo SSO or Cloud Hosted SSO Entry, that's the name. And then here um, I configure CA only because I'm not issuing certificates from um, the Duo Cloud and then I cut and pasted the certificate from the Duo Cloud here. Okay, and from the Duo Cloud is um, is if you log into your Duo portal and go into uh, the applications, and then what you did need to do is uh, initiate a to protect an application. And so when you click on protect the application, um, you got to type in Cisco ASA. And this is the option that you want. It's the two-factor authentication with SSO hosted by Duo. So this is the one that you want. But I've already created one, so I'm not going to create one here. So if I go back to my applications. Okay, so I go back to my applications. So I have one that I renamed it Cisco FTD, Duo Cloud Host S <coughs> SSO. And here, this is the entity ID, a sign-in URL, sign-out URL. These are all the SAML XM, uh, metadata that you need to cut and paste or copy and put that into uh, the single sign-on server here. But before that, let me 
get back here. So this is where you download the certificate. So download your identity provider because the Duo is the identity provider to the Firepower Threat Defense at this point. So you download the certificate uh, and open it and then simply cut and paste into the CA certificate here. Okay, and hit save and you can leave everything else uh, default. Okay, so now you have a certificate that you trust. And then in the single sign-on server for my Duo uh, hosted SSO here. Let me go ahead and open this up. And then, so I created one called Duo Cloud Host SSO, and this is the entity ID, sign in URL, sign out URL. This is where I cut and paste from uh, the portal here, cut and paste these three values into uh, my FTD. And then this is my base URL where I am connecting to for a VPN perspective. And then this is a certificate that I downloaded just, uh, just a few a minute ago here and that's really it okay and now once you've created this you go into the RAVPN section and um, if we go into my VPN policy and you'll see that I have multiple tunnel uh, groups or uh, connection profiles configured I have one for Okta I have one for Azure and this is my duo SSO one so I basically created an AnyConnect VPN uh, connection profile and the authentication method is SAML. Authentication method is SAML right here and then this is the authentication single sign-on surfer we just configure in the uh, the objects page there and then everything else I'm just pointing out the radius for now because I'm not really using it and the rest of the configuration is pretty much default uh, and you also got to create a group uh, policy. So it's very, very easy, very straightforward here. Okay. Now, so that takes care of the connection, the SAML connection between FTD to uh, Duo as the, uh, it sees Duo as the IDP. But in reality, Duo is just an IDP proxy or SAML proxy. So Duo actually has to point over to Azure. And that's what I have configured in this case, because Duo is not an IDP. So Duo, in this case now, if I go into single sign-on service, um, I have to configure a authentication source. And that's where I hit the add and I created one called SAML SSO. And this is for Azure. So now you have to get this information, give this information from Duo, from the entity ID, assertion consumer service URL, etc. All of this, upload it to uh, my Azure uh, SAML server or Azure AD service for SAML. And so in my case, I logged into my Azure portal. I have an application that I configured called Duo Cloud Hosted SSO. Okay, so you just create a new application uh, as a SAML service. And then you have to assign the users that are allowed to use this application. And this is the SSO, single sign-on for SAML portion of it here and here you go so you would take the duo entity id and this information enter that into here for the basic saml configuration and then from part number three here the saml sign on the certificates and all that um well, actually three and four the certificate here you have to download for uh, the Duo portal, as well as this uh, login URL, Azure AD identifier. This information, you cut and paste this into the Duo portal. Okay, and it basically is down here at the bottom. Down here, when I configured a single sign-on service, my Azure SAML, that's the entity ID, uh, sign-on URL, sign-out URL, and then the certificate that um, I trust of because we have to trust uh, the uh, Azure uh, single sign on service. Okay. And um, so that's really it. You just configure these two uh, bits of information and then you should be done. So hopefully this gives you a good overview and uh, good luck. Give it a try. Okay. And give me comments if you uh, have any questions. Thanks for watching.